Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is 28th of April 2018, it's 10.50pm here on Un in United Kingdom. Uh, my name is Edgar Raffel Danny, as always know, the writer or the author of the book, um, Six Figure um, Blueprint Trading Strategies, which you can find it on Amazon right now for just £12, that's um, for hard copy. And if you're that guy who likes to read things on Kindle book, which also means soft copies you can have it for just only eight pounds it's quite affordable guys just get have it just to improve your trading and make some money anyways guys just before we crack on i just want to remind you that guys this video is just is purposely for education purpose is not um anything signal providing service or anything sort of that um so we're looking at the trading opportunities in the week. Um, um, so yeah, bef um, before going straight to the technical analysis and stuff, you just have to, as always, start with economic themes. And that is the most important one is the dollar. The dollar has gained strength from Wednesday, um, just right after the treasury yield picked up to 3%. Now we see a lot of money going back into the US economy. This is quite powerful because of um, US dollars been depreciating for some time now, and it's all because of there was le um, poor um, inflation. I mean, not poor, but it was a bit low inflation in the in, in in US, and the treasury yield was quite low, so the prices of the bonds were quite high at that time, and it didn't have there was less volatility in the market. Now the volatility is coming back, the treasury yield is has gained momentum and we see an appreciating in the U in the US dollar um, currency. So guys, any trade you're going to make of the US dollar, just be in favor of the US dollar. No matter what, do not trade against US dollar. All right. Next week coming up, we're going to have non-farm payroll on Friday. Um, expectations is quite 195,000, that's quite higher than previous previous month um, the wage growth is 0.2% when unemployment is still as constant at 4% in contrast to that from last month it was a really disappointing numbers especially on the um, on the non-farm payroll which we had a hundred and three thousand ish uh, unemployed um, numbers from nine farm period now we're expecting 195 that is an average expectation um from the market so let's see what's going to happen so as i said earlier the u.s economy is much better at the moment uh eu economy is disappointing um, relative to q1 um so those are kind of things you guys have to look at in trade you're going to make don't be a, don't go against us dollar and also you can go against euro because euro is on is very is at the moment it's quite disappointing the economy so if you can look at this chart roughly you just have to see um if you look if you are going much closer you will not that as a massive drop here of the euro us dollar just at the be since the beginning of the last week you see just massive drop here and it's, we, we we believe it's going to continue um to continue um through th about two to three weeks until the markets fully price in the information and we expect changes from that anyways guys um we're just gonna jump on to um securities or stock markets um q2 um earnings so apples um the biggest one is Apple. Is of a, we have a bit of concerns about Apple hardware. That's that's been a mass. There's a, there's been a massive drop last week from Samsung's report, and we expect also um it's going to have. Is relatively, relatively same to Apple, because there's a big demand. Uh, there's a big drop in hardware demand in the in the world in general. Um, but the good news is Apple has seen this coming and they've been preparing themselves by venturing into other sorts of um, sort of customer 
customer um, customer preferences such as they've been trying to invest more on software than hardware so we see more of um, products like iMusic, Apple Store, stuff like that not Apple Store, jeez I'm not an Apple fan but I just I don't know much about that but it's like iMusic, iPlayer, some things like that I don't know, iMovies and stuff like that so there's there's a, there's there's a massive increase in um, there's a massive increase in 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 a software department compared to the hardware. Plus, um, the way they counter this issue, um, Apple them, in when they introduced the iPhone X, most people got confused about it. Why is almost one thousand dollars? But the thing is, Apple knows that the demand in hardware is keep keeps on decreasing, and the only way to counter uh, earnings earnings um, downfalling is by increasing the prices of of this premium phone uh, having 1000 price tag has proven a successful maneuver and with look at the numbers that is the iPhone X is almost sold out and they say by this next month they're going to stop selling iPhone X so we believe through that strategies and um, their earnings could be less impacted or still be healthy and won't be much of a shock compared to other companies such as Samsung. Um, um, so let's jump to the technical side of things. Uh, today, I'm just, I just have to look on only three mar two markets, specifically that's EuroCAD right here and um, Euro Japanese Yen. And purposely because of um, I didn't have much time to analyze other markets and I'm feel confident about this market to on the the way it's structured and the way it's going to it's going to perform um, over the week. Jumping on on the Euro card is um we expect a, a, a continuation of as remember guys from the book is the price action strategy. We expect a continuation of um, the price going up in this uh, in this market as you can see here. Uh, so this is very very sweet um if you look at the the way the way the candlestick kisses this points one two three i hit broker um four five six so on this uh here like the close close last two months roughly we have seen um double bottom here we're expecting a triple bottom as well here and a move up um in this market so my bias on this market this week is a buy and you guys um, can have a look and just have a say on it by commenting down below uh, on our, uh, our, our YouTube channel um, moving on to Euro Japanese Yen wait a minute all right moving on to Euro Japanese Yen as I said before the it's, it's about price action um, let's look how the market is performing. Oh, nothing there. Can get really yes. can force things. Anyways, um, remember last few weeks I said about how the euro is getting weaker and weaker, and it broke this my uh, significant level. Now it broke up again, and it's trading above this significant level. So this significant level has turned into a support level. Now we expect a continuation and upside. Um, as RSI here has already confirmed uh, the movement up plus the market is quite late yet to to give us the the confirmation of entering the market but this uh, if you look at the moving average here it starts to diverge the candlestick is already green as you can see like the shooting star here is the wicks here like kind of kind of squeezed in there if you look at this shows there's there's a change in, in sentiment in the market so yeah, this market I'm I'm going to look at it this this week, and it's quite interesting. So guys, that's uh, that's 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 a wrap up for the week. Honestly, I don't have much time to look at every pair, but just this looking going moving forward of the week. Just remember, guys, these two these two these two pairs to trade plus. Um, look at the Apple earnings done from payroll, which is going to to back up the upside momentum the US dollar currency. So don't go against US dollar this week, guys. Just be careful of that. So thank you so much. Um, 
and um, trade safely do not do not take leverage in your trades trade with what you have protect your capital by implementing the best strategies such as risk management do not trade above 0.1 or, sorry do not trade above one or two percent of your of your capital of your capital um so be careful on that guys and have fun have fun in the market so subscribe like hello ladies and gentlemen today is 28th of april 2018 it's 10 50 p.m here on in the united kingdom uh my name is edgar raffel danny as always know the writer or the author of the book um six figure um blueprint trading strategy